All right, so I'm gonna show you how to send and receive crypto. Now, this is where the real KYC is gonna kick in. I know that you had to do your social security and address information previously. This is a little bit more extensive. So as you can see, when I click on send and receive here, it's gonna say, hey, enable, to enable receiving, you need to verify your account. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna ask us to use a state issued ID or a driver's license. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my driver's license. You can use the webcam. I'm not gonna use mine because it's not very good. I'm gonna click on mobile upload. Now it's going to send me a text to my phone. And I'm gonna start recording on my screen here too so I can place it up. All right, I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna ask me for my license, which I'm gonna pull out here. Take a photo of the front of your ID. You wanna take a picture where it's not, it's got nothing in the background. That's all you got there. Boom, that should be perfect. My license is a piece of crap. Take a photo of the back. And we're gonna complete verification. Upload successful. And now we're gonna look back at the screen here on my computer. There we go, identity verified. It says it was successful. If it wasn't successful, you didn't take a clear picture. You had the edges cut off. You weren't using a blank background. All of those are super important and you're gonna get really frustrated if you don't do that. So if you didn't get this message, you did it wrong. So we're gonna head on continue. Now, <clears throat> looks like it's just frozen for a second. It was verified. Oh, we did do this already. We'll give it a second. Maybe this needs to reload. Try refreshing our page. Dismiss. Send and receive. There we go. You can see I just need to refresh. So if you're into the same issue, just refresh. That's typically what will happen. Now we can see I can put in a mobile email or address. Now the address is going to be like a wallet address which is something we can get more into. We're actually gonna to need to set that up in another video, but I just wanted to show you how to KYC to verify your account. We'll do the send and receive in another video. So I just created my new Coinbase account and I've already gone through all the steps. I've already done the KYC, but here's something Coinbase will do sometimes. And the reason my camera's off is because I'm gonna to need to use it. Whatever device you're on, it's gonna give you this message when you do get it, if you do get it. I'm gonna click on make a trade. And as you can see, now it's suddenly asking me for additional account verification. It's gonna ask me to submit. I'm gonna click on driver's license. And now you can see, hmm, where did my phone option go? Well, it's because I'm on a computer, it's gonna ask me to use whatever device I'm on to verify this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on webcam. Now you're gonna- Pause. I highly recommend doing this on your phone. Open up Coinbase on the browser or through the app and then do this process. You'll also have received an email asking you to verify your information. You can click on that and it will open you up to this screen on your phone and it's a lot easier to take the pictures of your license, but I did it on the computer just in case that's what you're using too. Just know there's some struggle. Webcam. Now you're gonna see it's going to enable my webcam. I'm ready. It's going to ask me to put the driver's license in front of this. Let's see if I can get it. <clears throat> All right, now finally it's going to do a selfie. Take my hat off here. It's going to ask me to take a picture of myself. Make sure I'm fully in there. Take my headset off. Put my 
my face up. It's actually going to send me a text message saying that it was completed. Identity verified. It said, ignore that message because obviously it was successful. If yours wasn't, then you didn't get the picture correct. It'll tell you. I'm going to continue. And there we go. Now when I go to make a trade, you can see it's back to allowing me to make the purchase.